Welcome to Hey, We're Talking. You got me, Mr. Scotty D, with my good friend. Hey, I'm Derek. How's it going? <laughs> I'm the, I'm the hey. uptake there. And, hey, I'm Bob. And hey, no, I'm Bob. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Man, that did not go. <laughs> that one was a, that was like a rough landing, but we made it. Keep, it's okay. Keep it going. Everyone's keep alive. Going. The mask did drop out of the ceiling, and we're we're good though. We're we're all right. Okay. So today on Hey, we're talking. It's Wednesday. So you don't know what that means, but soon you will. Wednesdays are midweek man stuff. And if you're a lady, hey, maybe we're going to teach you a little bit about the male and his longings and desires besides sex. Uh, (laughs) Today on midweek man stuff, we're going to talk about toys. No, not sexual toys, you dirty, dirty people. Toys, things that men love to play with besides themselves. Drones. Uh, any kind of tech toy, we're going to cover all sorts of stuff. It could be your hobby, maybe smoking a pipe, maybe smoking cigars, drinking alcohol, whatever it is, we're going to talk about man stuff on this show. And today we're starting it off because Bob got himself a drone, a little drone for Christmas. And I got to say, I'm a little jealous. Bob, tell us about your drone. This thing's actually pretty awesome. It's made by a company called Holy Stone. Uh, this one is the F-181. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, they go for, this one was about 110 bucks or so. Um, but these little drones are awesome, man. Uh, of course, you guys heard uh, a few shows ago that I talked about my dream gift, which would be one of these DJI monstrous $1,000 drones. And, and obviously, I can't afford that. So, But I, I had this one on my Amazon list, uh, my Christmas list on there, or just my list in general. And my wife happened to tell my my parents about it, and they decided to pick it up for me. But, uh, I mean, you guys on YouTube will be able to see this. If you're listening to the podcast, go jump on YouTube and just check it out. But um, this is a cool little drone. Uh, It's all black, and on the underside, it's got these awesome flashing um, blue and red lights and everything like that. Um, I said that it looks like a police drone, but Bob says that's just so you know the front and the back. But, I mean, come on. You know they put the red and blue on there to make it kind of feel like it was a cop drone. Yeah, and that's fine. I'm good with that. It doesn't matter what color it is. I think it's cool that uh, the red is in the back because mentally I think like brake lights, you know. So uh, one th- important thing about, about having a drone is making sure you know which way uh, which way is forward on your drone while you're driving it. Yep. Driving it or flying it? <laughs> flying it. I guess you'd, you'd be flying it. Question. Sure. So what do you do with it? I mean, I'm not a I'm not a drone guy. I know that people around here use them to do recon when they try to rob houses. So <laughs> I assume you're not going to be robbing houses, Bob. Well, you uh, assume Bob. insert Scott's Chicago joke later. But <laughs> what are you going to be doing with the drone? It's it's just for fun. I, I've got a big field by my house, um, a large, large open field, and it's just going to be for fun. See how, see how I want to test the limits of this drone pretty much. I want to see how high I can get it to go, how far out before it, it crashes because of the, uh, you know, not getting the signal from the, the controller. You know, un- unfortunately, one bad thing about this one is when I got it, I don't know if it was my dad when he assembled it for me before he gave it to me. I don't know if he did something and messed up one of the motors one of the little engines on it but uh one of the one of the motors was out when i got was, it so he was playing with it <laughs> he probably was and, and and i figure it like this instead of him sending it back to amazon well basically my dad lives an hour away so i would have to take the drone to my dad and then he'd have to send it back to amazon and amazon to send another one back i said hack with it i went and bought the new motors you can get four motors for 12 bucks and i just re- installed the new motor myself it was two wires to solder in uh, it was pretty easy, and that that kind of gets into the the hobby and the fun side of it. But uh, you know, this thing, the controller is pretty cool. It's not, it, it's got a camera built in, and you can't see it, um, you know, on the controller like some of the other drones. But I mean, it's all pretty basic uh, as far as a drone. But it's a cool beginner drone. You know, it's just one of those things that I figured I wanted, and uh, I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. Uh, I got really into this really big YouTuber, Casey Neistat, um, and he does some of the most incredible 
drone shots. Like that's kind of his bread and butter. Um, he lives in New York City, and he has like his favorite is the DJI Mavic Pro. I mean, it's like the best one, and he has multiple of those things because he's crashed them <laughs> many times. But some of the drone footage that he gets is just, I mean, seriously, guys, go to Casey Neistat's channel and just watch a couple of his, um, uh, he used to do a daily vlog. Um, he just stopped doing it in the last month or two. Um, but he's super, super huge on YouTube. Uh, and his drone shots are incredible. And it, he's kind of the reason that I started watching people doing drone stuff and got really excited about it. I want to get one too. Uh, but I'm going to save up and get one that when I crash it, I'll probably cry really bad because it costs so much money. No, but the the ones that cost a lot of money, the, one of the things that I'll mention too, and I think, Bob, you and I have talked about this, they have a uh, basically something built into them. When they get out of range where you went too far, they they fly back to you. Like they once they go, oh, I don't have contact with my controller anymore, they'll go back to the original location they get back in to uh to the right place yeah they call that return to home yep. so uh the dji ones they all have it uh the cool thing about those drones is uh the one the phantom 4 pro that i was kind of looking at that one's a little bit more than a thousand dollars but uh that can actually go three miles away from you so the thing is when 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 you're thinking about having a, a toy essentially that far away if you get a little bit confused where you are, you need some sort of a feature. So, uh, and I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube about that return to home feature, and you can actually see it. They hit the button, and that dra drone goes up to a specific height that you have put in. You know, you have a parameter that you've put in there ahead of time. It'll go up to that height and just come back to you. And these drones have landed within like ten feet of people, and that's just to me that's just awesome technology. And they've got the 4K cameras on them, um, which my TV's not even 4K. So it's getting, it's recording in better, better quality than I can even watch. So, I, go ahead. Derek, it, we're losing Derek. If, you, if you're watching on YouTube, he's literally falling asleep <laughs> listening to us talk about drones. No, no, But I'm anyway, <laughs> when Derek said that they use them for, like, casing houses, basically, part of the reason <laughs> that I want one is not to rob people, but... My subdivision backs up to this, the people behind us, there's a bunch of land here behind us, like 33, 40 acres, something like that. And uh, they, they do things sometimes back there, and I'm like, what are these people doing? Like, just gunshots and, like, all types of, you know, ATVs and motorcycles and dirt bikes and stuff, ring, 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 and driving all around. So I'd like to get up over top and, like, kind of watch them just... <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of messed up but there is part of me that wants to see like what do they have going on because the other thing that they have that's so great is there's like they've built like a little shanty it's like a little it's almost like a bar they built like a tiki bar basically at this one part of the property where you can see once all the leaves fall off and everything back here and they do karaoke in the and and i mean they really do karaoke we're talking people are singing like they mean it and so they have these little parties where they do karaoke and like probably i think it was probably around thanksgiving they seem to do it around the holidays and so they're out there and it was actually no this one was in the summer they're they're going to town and i mean they're just having a gay all time they're just loving life people are having fun and it was probably like 11 30 11 45 at night had the windows open and somebody down the road from us, probably like five or six houses down, this guy just, you hear him in his backyard, shut up, screaming, echoing through the little land back here behind us. And he was so mad that they were karaoke -ing. Is that a word? Yeah, well, Scott... Sure, it's a, it's a word, but you don't need a drone to like check that out. Just go out there and join them. You're a cool guy. You're fun. You Derek, would fit right in. Derek, I could not make it down the hill. If you saw the hill, you would ask Bob about the hill. Just get a, just get a wagon. Yeah. Get a this, wagon or this, sled or something. It's not really a hill. It's more like a ravine. It's like a cliff. I mean, dude, my kids and I walked down this thing, and we one, we barely got down. Two, we barely got back up. 
I mean, it, once you get down there, it's beautiful, this little creek and all this stuff, but that's a brutal, brutal walk. Derek, can you tell us more about, like, you were saying people were using it for recon to rob houses. I've what, never heard of this. Did that really happen? Because I've never heard of that out here. I I have heard of that. Um, I'm On Facebook, I'm part of the local Crime Watch uh, group or whatever, and, and I've and uh, some of my friends have said they've seen drones kind of peeking in their windows, kind of like <laughs> flying. Yeah, like yeah. No. And I've heard I've heard stories of you know you, you know these drones show up and then kind of keep a you know check out the place and then they get broke into later on. Why? A lot of co- if you live a lot in of Texas, why why is there not someone taking their gun out back to that drone and blowing it well, out of the sky? That was actually a, a, an interesting topic of uh, discussion because some people are saying that drones are uh, they're governed by the FAA. Yeah, they and are. if if you if you even if it's in your even if it's a, if it's over your private property. If you took a shotgun and shot it, then that's basically the equivalent of destroying personal property and and causing a plane crash or something like that. It's well, like I, I believe that, but I I mean <laughs> the FAA says you should re- anything that flies should be registered as a drone. You know, should or should be registered with the FAA. Anything that's over a certain weight and flies above a certain height. Um but you know though that it's just like the gun argument. You know those guys aren't going to register it if they're planning on doing something bad with it. And the same thing with a gun. A, a criminal's not going to go and reg- well, let me register this nine millimeter real quick before I go rob a bank. Right. So, but the fact that, I mean, if they're invading your personal space and your property, you Especially know, I if mean, they're trying to do that so they can case the joint and steal it. I'd freaking blow that thing out of the sky. I, I would too, and I, I wouldn't think twice about it. And I do have a shotgun, and but yeah, if you no guys drones. are listening no right now to Derek, if you come to his house with that drone, he will shoot that drone down. You don't even need a shotgun, man. You could use a BB gun. You know why? Because that I guarantee, if you hit a drone with a BB gun, it's going down. Or like a nice oh. pellet gun. I've got a nice hundred dollar pellet gun from from uh, Bass Pro Shop. I mean, this thing's brutal, and it, it will knock out a drone no problem. All a drone needs is you mess up one part of their body, one piece of it, it's not going to fly properly anymore. So what are they going to do with the BB gun? It's a, It's got to be a misdemeanor instead of a, a, a bigger offense with an actual gun. That's probably a good idea with the with the pellet gun. I also have a nice $100 pellet gun. We'll have to talk oh, about that. See, we can do that on a midweek man Midweek stuff. man, yeah, midweek man Wednesday thing <laughs> on our... <laughs> show hey we're talking pellet rifles and i killed a raccoon with that thing yeah I and uh <laughs> i don't have a pellet gun these are all the things that i need to get so i can be a part of midweek man stuff i'll, I'll send you one i've got two <laughs> all one's right a i'll send you a pellet <laughs> thanks man <laughs> hey uh <laughs> i'm just trying to get to a point where we can wrap up here because we could. It seems like this one is as weird as it is. We we're talking a lot about the drones, uh, but we'll have to revisit drones on a future episode, I guess. <laughs> once DJI, once we get super popular and DJI sends me a thousand dollar drone, then we'll yeah, we'll definitely cover yeah. it again. Casey we'll Neistat, definitely be robbing some houses. Casey Neistat has uh, five million subscribers, and I think they've only sent him one free drone so far. So. Yeah. Um, Once we I get don't... to five million, though, we're gold. Right. Yeah. yeah good. Dude, can you that'll, imagine? What would you do if you, if you had five million subscribers? What would you even do? Ask them all to send me a dollar. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. So, uh, hey, we're talking. Very exciting. Very exciting. I, I didn't do a good job of rapping at the end here, but yeah. You know, well, I, I don't know how much time we have left, Scott. I know we're, we have, we're real. We have but... like mere seconds. Go oh, ahead. OK. You no, had a, I would just you had a big topic I, you want to talk about. Oh, yeah. We're going to start a big topic right now. No, obviously, you guys can see we're doing something different with the show. Uh, we're trying to change it up a little bit. Yes, we just started this whole venture, but 
we're trying to make things a little bit more appealing to to a specific audience and and you guys uh will be watching and paying attention to that <laughs> i love when bob does that when he does his little it's like a it's almost like a sales pitch i like it I i'm like trying it. to connect with these people right there okay yeah, have a great guy. wednesday I, I think they connected with you you did a good job so hey we're talking check us out on youtube which gosh I love YouTube, so I'm glad we're doing YouTube. Uh, check us out at heywe'retalking.com. That'll take you to the Podbean podcast. If you want to sign up and subscribe to us on iTunes, hey, we're talking. If you, I, I was hoping he was going to actually fly it during the show, but I don't know if he should. I'll blow up and hit his face or something. Uh, hey, at hey, we're talking on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, whoa, it's working out. Gosh, I told you. I knew it. Uh, just go to YouTube and search Hey, We're Talking. Please don't. Oh, no. Gosh, look at this. going to lose it. Wouldn't be sad if he destroyed the whole thing on the show just to, just for that one, like, 10-second visual on YouTube. YouTube's Sorry, a great Bob's medium, dad. though. YouTube is a great medium, guys. We really love YouTube. So thanks for watching the show. We'll be uh, talking to you in a couple days here. We'll be back on Friday. Love ya. Bye-bye.